So I looked over this game. It was Star Castle. I played it a bunch. I thought about it on the VCS. I looked it over and I realized, holy crap, this is going to suck. This is going to absolutely suck. And I could not afford to have my first project suck. I made, did a little preparation and then I marched myself into Dennis Koval's office and I said, look, instead of doing this, I'd like to do this. This is something that I think uses some of the basic game ideas, but I think this is something that would work on the system. This other one won't work. And I just made this little presentation to him. And to his credit, he said, okay, you know what? Go for it. The first thing I put up on the screen was an animated character. Most people use a block because they want to start working out their game mechanics and stuff like that. I put up an animation that was the first thing I put up on a screen. And people would go by and they go, wow, that looks cool. What does it do? They'd be like, nothing. <laughs> you know? and that's what it does. There it is. I said, I'm still working on it. Don't worry. You know? <laughs> it's like, and then it got to the point where it was time to actually play it and have some of this stuff. So I had achieved my goal of trying to make something interesting and it sucked as a game. <laughs> and I was exactly caught in ex the place I didn't want to be. So what I did was I started taking feedback, which was extremely painful uh, to hear people telling me how much my game sucked. The only thing that really made it tolerable was that I wasn't so self-deluded at that point that I didn't realize it sucked also. Until I worked out making some of the changes and getting it through, I was in very bad shape and I was feeling some very negative feedback from some other people and, and I was feeling, you know, I'm usually the person who's hardest on myself and that was a tough time for me. And I had to get through that before I could hear what people were saying and start to work on it and I had to release myself from, but I have to have this, but I have to have this. You know, as a therapist, I always catch people when they say I have to. I always love people say, you know, I have to, but I have to do this. And I always stop and I say, look, you don't have to. Obviously, you don't have to because you're not doing it, right? You don't have to, but you could. But there's probably a reason you're not. And the reason I'm able to give that lesson to my clients now is because I had to get over that. I had this have to that was making things not work. And until I could let that go, I couldn't make the game succeed. And when I did, I, it forced me to, to think in new ways, to think outside the box and to go come up with some other left field solution. And when I made those changes, then suddenly yours was really good.